Hey guys, it's Bub here, and today we're going to be discussing if you should try to use a 32-bit operating system in the year 2020. Your first concern with using a 32-bit operating system in 2020 would of course be app compatibility. Now, if we take a look at some apps, such as apps from the Windows Store on Windows 10, most of the apps in the Windows Store are still supported on 32-bit operating systems. However, I believe that they will eventually drop support for 32-bit. Some operating systems, such as macOS Catalina, have quit supporting 32-bit apps altogether. When you try to launch one, it refuses to launch and tells you to contact the developer. A lot of apps on the internet, such as Minecraft, Google Chrome, and Firefox, still support 32-bit operating systems. However, as I said about the Windows Store apps, I believe that 32-bit app support will eventually be killed for stuff like Google Chrome, Minecraft, and Firefox because simply not enough people are using this platform anymore. Most new processors use the 64-bit architecture, meaning that typically only older computers use 32-bit processors, especially when you install Windows 10 on these older systems. I really don't recommend running Windows 10 on the older systems, however, do as you please. Chances are if you have a 32-bit processor in your machine, all the machines I've seen with a 32-bit processor either have 2 or 4 gigabytes of RAM, which in today's world is definitely not enough to run modern applications and even browse the web for that matter. A reason why someone may use a 32-bit operating system on a 64-bit architecture is because they think that it will perform faster and that it takes up less space. Well, while those may be true, they really aren't. 32-bit operating systems have limitations, and the biggest limitation of a 32-bit operating system is its ability to only use 4 gigabytes of RAM. Even if you have a system with 32 gigabytes inside, a 32-bit operating system will only be able to use 4 gigabytes of that. And put this into perspective, Windows 10 Home can use up to 128 gigabytes of RAM for 64-bit. Or if you have another version, you can support up to 2 terabytes of RAM. 32-bit, 4 gigs. 64-bit, 128 or 2 terabytes. Which would you rather have? Now, 32-bit operating systems do the job today because they have modern web browsers today, but let's take a look, let's say, two or three years down the road. Most likely, they will not support 32-bit operating systems, and here's why. Microsoft no longer ships 32-bit versions of Windows 10 to OEMs and new computers. This is because they are starting to phase out 32-bit operating systems entirely so that they don't have to support it because 64-bit is the future. If you currently have a 32-bit system and you want to use Windows 10 on that system, by all means, go ahead. Of course, 4 gigabytes of RAM is definitely not enough for web browsing in the modern day, but if you want to, let's say, watch 1080p videos or browse the web in general, you should, in theory, be able to do that because it has modern web browsers and it's not like Windows Vista where you have to use an older one that some websites don't support. If you have a 32-bit processor with a 32-bit operating system, chances are you'll be forced to upgrade within the next two to three years due to the lack of app support. Now that Apple's killed off their mobile 32-bit support and their desktop 32-bit support. If you're running a 32-bit operating system on a 64-bit processor, what are you doing? Please uninstall that and install a 64-bit operating system to get the full experience of Windows now, if you have your heart set on a 32-bit processor with a 32-bit operating system and you're refusing to upgrade, let me show you an alternative to Linux and Windows 10. Windows 8.1 surprisingly runs very well on older systems, including the 32-bit version. If you still have your 32-bit processor and you don't want to get a new computer, I highly recommend using Windows 8.1 on that machine because it uses the least amount of RAM and in my opinion, it looks very well. In my experience, as I've said, it performs very well on older systems. So, if you don't want to get a 64-bit processor, install Windows 8.1. Although Windows 8.1 has some things you may not like, such as the start screen and the full screen apps, it is still a very good candidate for running on older systems and 32-bit CPUs. 
Not only is Windows 8.1 fast on older systems, but it's still supported by Microsoft until 2023, and most app manufacturers still support Windows 8.1. I believe that by 2023, Microsoft will at least be halfway through phasing out 32-bit systems, which is why by 2023 when Windows 8.1 goes out of support, you should upgrade to a 64-bit computer, or if you have the money, upgrade to one now, because it will make your life so much easier. Anyway guys, definitely leave your opinion in the comments below if you think 32-bit processors will end up going out of support and in general 32-bit operating systems. Generally, you should not use a 32-bit operating system unless you absolutely have to, but it is still possible to use one in 2020. Anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're new around here. I do general tech videos and device restorations. Anyway, I'll see you all in the next one.